If you say you haven't been jealous of someone, you're lying. That's it. What do you think of when you think of jealousy? Well, you know, I immediately think the green-eyed monster. Well, I think jealousy has negative connotations. It's okay to be jealous. It's natural. I think we can all point to certain moments where we've looked at someone else and wanted what they had in a way. Maybe common thing uh, in what jealousy means to me is, that, is when you see somebody living a life or living in the way that one strives for. Welcome to Jealous Podcast, presented by Bing Bang. So sad. I watched last week's podcast and I'm like, my hair looked so good. <laughs> Why did I do that? It's just like things can change in an instant. What's your natural color? I like that's how much of that hair dye comes at you fast. <laughs> Someone on Instagram was like giving me tips on how I can um white like stains on my and I was like I didn't dye this myself like right. I went to a professional and she did this to me <laughs> and so I'm like I, I thanks for knocking me when I'm down I know yeah she did and I was like I don't know why you're doing like I don't understand why you are oh, coming funny. at me like this she's like it'll fade I'm like does it need to fit like I don't know I don't yeah I, I don't think know. we need to put your Halloween costume around it <laughs> yeah. I did buy some black lipstick, some black nail polish. I'm just kidding to all the emo kids out there, but I do feel like, I do feel emo. Yeah, it's a oh. crazy time. Well, emo's coming back. Emo is coming back. Well, Leah, she was like, you're, you're doing like all the Kourtney Kardashian thing. I'm like, yeah, but she's Kourtney or Kardashian. Like, she started out hot. Yeah. I'm just like a mom who can cut her all of her hair off and dyed it black. <laughs> it's fine. We don't need to make this about me. Today is about you, Shelby. <laughs> Today is about you. Welcome to Jealous Podcast. First time. First timer. It's exciting. Are you excited? A little bit. Have you been on a <laughs> podcast before? Um, one time, but it was about nothing exciting. Like I was talking about gluten. <laughs> Are you gluten free? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back it up. My mom's gluten free. Got it. So I like, I know when I should and probably shouldn't eat gluten. And I think sure. people just, it was super awkward conversation. Like, I'm not going to get into it. Okay. <laughs> you don't have You to. don't even know about my <laughs> sensitivity. <I'm>, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I just feel like that's kind of our journey as, as women. I don't feel like men care as much, but like as women, like I'm kind of dabbling in a dairy free zone right now. Mm -hmm. I love dairy. Yeah. I love cheese. Yeah. But I come back from a background where my old job, she was super holistic health. So I know all the bad stuff about gluten, which we, we did a gluten podcast, which yeah. is why I was on it. And then all the bad stuff about dairy. And it's like, oh. but I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to either. No. But I also wish it didn't have the effects that it has on me sometimes where I just don't feel good. No. I just, I was eating, um, like that halo top ice cream. Yep. And I ate a whole halo top ice cream. It's, it's like healthy what, 300 ice cream. calories. Or yeah. Something. You're fine. And I, for some reason in my brain, I was like, this is dairy free. I will, there will be no consequences. It'll be fine. And then I like, my tummy hurts. And really? I was like, oh, that's not dairy free. That's oh, just, it's just healthier, healthier ice, cream. ice cream. Got it. They should make yeah. a dairy free one. I know. Maybe. And they probably do. I just, I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking. Give me the yeah. cookie dough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need mm -hmm. it. Goodness gracious. Well, you are new to our team. I mean, you're fresh. It's well, been, it's a week. A week. Congratulations. Thank you've you. You've made it. <laughs> a week. Everyone. That's what Lori says. Lori said, did she tell you in your onboarding? Seven days. Okay. So you're but only business actually days. Six. Yeah. Well, well, no. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Tomorrow I'm official. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you we'll feel? check back in later. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you know about Bing Bang before? It, what, what made you see the job posting at old Bing Bang and want to apply in the first place? <laughs> I have always loved the energy of this place. Like I've told you guys before, I've known Brandon Bingham. and Oh, I'm so sorry. I know. It's Too been bad. such a struggle. But <laughs> I know his brother more, and they are the same person. It's just I left my interview, and I talked to my dad, and I was like, they are literally the same. Like that interview really? took so long because he talked the whole time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're both talkers yep. big time. Oh, it's so funny. But, yeah, I saw – I knew he had this company, and I loved the energy that – 
I could feel from the company. And I've always wanted to apply. Like for the whole past year, I've been wanting to apply and the position came available. I'm like, going for it, need a change and I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are ready to have you too. So you are coming on as an account strategist with a big focus on our own marketing, which you think like a marketing company, well, you're just going to market yourself. We we don't. It's so hard. We it's definitely, so hard. it's so hard. <laughs> it's not. But you know, we are out there serving clients every day and we do try to put them first. And so, totally. I mean, even our website has been in the works for a year and a half and we are at the finish line and it is so exciting. So we are so glad to have you. No, I'm excited too. And I get like, it's hard to want to market yourself when you have so many other things to do with like clients and whatnot. It just sounds like a tedious task, yes. but it is so important, especially now in the social media world to get your name out there. It's free. It's free marketing too. Right. It is above all else, but yeah, I'm excited to kind of dive in and get more TikToks filmed. And <laughs> that is right, everyone. We filmed our first TikTok yesterday. I think it went pretty well. It did. Like a half hour. <laughs> it did go well. We did the pointing one. We did the pointing one. It was Melanie. Melanie is our star. Yeah. So I think she's going to be a star. She's going to owe us when she takes off on yeah. TikTok. Oh my gosh. We're going to need like some percentage of her income. Yeah. For sure. Get that, those royalties. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what are, what are you the most excited about to, to bring from your past role? Like you talked about your past role a little bit just over here for us and for our clients and for us. Yeah, I'm excited just to kind of bring a different perspective because a lot of people here, they've worked at the register or in the newsroom and stuff. And I've kind of like never really done that. Yes. And I'm just kind of, I dove into the social media world a couple years ago and I've always loved video and creating, so just kind of a new perspective to a team who, they know what they're doing. Like, yes. That's not it. It's just like, what if we tried this way or like looked at it from that way? So a new perspective I'm super excited about. That's what, we're actually just using you for your youthful perspective. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're just like, anytime we need an opinion of um, a younger person, we're like, Shelby, Shelby, what do you think, Shelby? What does she think? Shelby, what do you think? No, oh my goodness. I barely know. I feel like I'm 80 years old some days. I'm like, I don't even have the TikTok app. Like, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. I don't either. <laughs> I just know that um, the world couldn't handle me on TikTok. Just kidding. I just, I can't. Like, I'm so awkward. The camera turns on, like, even right now. I'm like, yeah. Hey. I can feel my, my posture goes. It's probably, oh, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. But so you filmed some reels. Oh, yeah. I've seen some of your work. Uh huh. <laughs> some of my <laughs> work. I'm really good at um, lip singing to lip syncing to um, what was that? Jennifer Hudson. That was yours? Yeah. Or like Beyonce. Let it go. No, not let it go. Gosh, Lisa. that was on. Like, he had Disney on the music today, so I'm like in a Disney mindset. Listen, listen from listen. Dream Girls. Yes, that's actually. Close you all. Listen. <laughs> Beyonce killed it in that song, and you just killed it in that note. She did. Yeah. Sorry for all the. Spit. The spittle. I actually have that song on my um, music on my iPhone. Like back in the day when you would buy songs on oh, iTunes, yeah. I bought that song. It's because it's so good. She's amazing. You should just, maybe at lunch, I'm just going to go put it in my car and drive around town and just like. <laughs> Get in, it, with yeah. your black hair. With my black hair. <laughs> just roll down the windows and be like, oh my God, she's going through it. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so who are you? I hate this question when people ask me this question. Outside of here, oh. what drives you? I love being with friends and family and just like, I don't know if you can cuss on here, but like shooting the shit. Like I love doing that yeah. over. I'll bleep that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is there rules on no. here? No. 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 no rules. <laughs> There's no rules. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, I just love doing that. I love to go to Hawkeye games, Chiefs games, all the above. I like to be, go on walks, walks in nature. We talk. We talked about this. Yeah. Walks, walks are exercise. It is exercise. It is. And it's a hard exercise. It is. Especially, like, outside. It's different, like, from a treadmill yeah. to outside. Totally different experience. Yeah. And if, I mean, there's hills and there's um, dogs uh -huh. and there's the neighborhoods you try to avoid. I mean, you got to get those steps in. <laughs> I also even can find myself talking to myself because it's kind of my time to like 
go through things in my head. Okay, what do I have to do? Yes. And I'll catch myself talking to myself on my walk. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God, these bikers probably think I'm like. Those bite. They they talk to themselves on your left. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I such? I'm like. Do you have a bicycle? I do. Okay. Are you like a biker gang? No. Like we've tried once. We biked like there's a trail by my house. There's a bar like literally a couple miles down the road, and we biked to it. And we lost someone on the way. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to take her own path, and we got to the bar. We're like, "Where's Peggy? Peggy? <laughs> Peggy's. We had to go search for Peggy. Where was like, she? She was lost. <laughs> Honestly, oh, she wanted no. to go like the neighborhood. Oh no! She was found. We got her a course light. It was all good. Yeah, <laughs> a course light can fix a lot of things. Yeah, especially yeah, the embarrassment from getting lost on your bicycle. God, <laughs> from a couple miles. Oh man, we so we did um, rag bry as a team oh. a few years ago. Oh. We just on it was Monday. We had our team meeting, and Brandon was like, "Hey, let's do rag bry this week." So we did rag bry Thursday. And I know I've told this story on here before, so if you've heard it, I apologize. But I hadn't ridden a bike in 15 years, at least. Yeah. I had to borrow my friend's bike. Um, Your kid's training wheel? She's, well, I should have. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think I had kids at the time, so I didn't even have that. She, um, she was much taller than me, my friend, that let me borrow the bike. So, I mean, I rode it, like, one lap the night before we went. And it was the most terrifying experience that... I mean, those yeah. hills, you are going so fast. I felt yeah. like I was going 60 miles per hour. I know I was not, but I felt like I was. And then the other bikers yes. around you, like yeah. my friend did it this year. And I was like, oh, I could like go try it. But then she was telling me her experience. I'm like, heck no. It's I would awful. be like a nervous Nelly the whole time. I was. I was. The handlebars <laughs> were shaking and Brandon was like, oh, I'm like, kiss my ass. <laughs> I just, this is so scary. I'm never doing the, this again. Plus. No amount of padding or bike shorts can save your butt yep. from <laughs> the pain. Miles and miles of excursion. We only went 13 miles, and I tried to get back on. I was like, oh, yeah, no like, I couldn't. I could I'd not call do an it. Uber. Yeah. <laughs> I got, we participated in <laughs> in the beer, the Iowa beer bus. Shout yeah. out to the Iowa beer bus. Um, So just. Oh, that got oh, after it yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit, that so happens. I didn't have to get back on the bike. Well, then how, yeah, how do you even bike? Because, like, I would love to do that, too, like, bar hop on the bike just because, yeah. like, oh, an Elkhart or whatever they have fun. that. Is, El, is it Elkhart? Anyway. Yeah, there, there is a place called Elkhart. There is a place. <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, a ton, whatever. <laughs> anyway, but, like, what do people do if they get hammered right. on their bike? There needs to be a service. Hey, Got hammered at the bar. I need you to pick up my bike and me. Yeah, like, not boober. That wouldn't work. <laughs> we thought about that for boats. Boober. boober. <laughs> Did you? Oh, same same thing. Uh -huh. like you drive your boat or you, yeah, drive. Yeah. Do you drive a boat? You yeah. sail a boat. How do you? <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't sail a, a boat. <laughs> oh you drive a boat. <laughs> I am showing my, like, this hair <laughs> might as well be a different color. <laughs> Jesus. Um. You yeah. drive a boat, whatever, a boat. and then to have the Someone service come, come pick you up and drive your boat back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boober. because people get the boober, because people <laughs> do get themselves in trouble with it, the boat. It can happen, and we just want everyone to be safe. We just At the end of the day. No accidents, not on your boat, not on your bike, not by foot. I mean, oh. Oh, you can get in trouble walking mm -hmm. drunk. I'm not saying, like, I'm just an accident waiting to happen oh. in general, like, walking and stuff, and... Are you a clumsy person? So clumsy. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> we need an anecdote. I think I'm clumsy. I think I've gotten to the conclusion. My feet are too small for how tall I am. What size foot do you have? Like a nine. I'm like six feet tall. And are I'm, you six foot? I would say six, six, six one. Six footer? Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I think it just can't hold up all my, it gets <laughs> topsy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I fall constantly and my friends make fun of me for it. Like, it's just not good. Did you play sports at all? I did. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of it came after I tore my ACL my freshman year. Oh, no. I kind of yeah. got clumsy. I'd never really healed it. And <laughs> how did you do that? I was playing basketball and we were warming up in the cafeteria because we shared the gym with the boys. And I was doing a closeout and my first little shuffle step, my knee went in and yeah that had to be very very painful it was 
I, I could handle a lot of pain. Like, it wasn't that. It was just kind of like, oh, this might be over. Like, I w- it was weird, too, because I was thinking about that. Like, my freshman year I went in, I was super confident that season, like, in my game yeah. and all that. And then the knee came and just, like, destroyed me. And oh, I was like, no. Oh. Yeah. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. Yes. Now I'm the clumsy girl that can't walk down a hill. Oh, no. I I bet that was your path. God was like, uh, we just need, she needs to be clumsy. We need to take this path. She's too powerful with two working knees. (laughs) So let's just send her out to the world (laughs) as a clumsy, clumsy little gal. No, it's okay. I I embrace it. Well, good. (laughs) Good. We all have our quirks. (laughs) What school did you go to? Um, I went to Iowa my freshman year, go Hawks, but then I did transfer to Iowa State. So you played basketball? Oh, no, no, no. At college. No, that was high school. Yes. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, But yeah, my mom likes to call it the school up north. We don't call it Iowa, that I went to Iowa State. I graduated from the North of Ankeny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we respect it. My husband is a fan of the school up north. Yeah. And, um, I mean, you know, it's a beautiful campus. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> My grandma's a huge fan, too, so I always like to get into it with her and whatnot, but she kind of drives that into me, like, I want this hatred, and I'm like, no. I'm like, She wants? She wants to talk shit? <laughs> well, she likes to talk shit, and I have to poise myself, and everyone has a right to their own opinion. Does she ever, like, just really po- poke the bear and really make you, like, think, like, wait, I can't I can't say what I want to say because yep. you're my grandma, and I love you. Yep. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I need to meet her. That's great. Oh, she's a character. Oh, my gosh. She's actually going to make the cinnamon rolls for – we're having – a little chili cook off or something yeah. this October and oh for here mm-hmm. oh. I'm gonna have her make some cinnamon rolls. That's cheating. Wait, are, is it a cook off? Okay, <laughs> cheating. It's cheating <laughs> if we're gonna vote on whose yeah. chili tastes best. Yes. Obviously yours will because it's gonna, going to be paired with cinnamon rolls. Well, no. So there's a chili cook off and then a cinnamon roll cook off. Here? Yeah. No one you tells me the shit. You on Friday. No one tells me anything. <laughs> Lori I and I are. want to. Boycott. Yeah. I'm going to p- submit a complaint. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So tell me more about this chili cook <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Again, oh only gosh. my sixth day. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Sure. I'm like, so sorry. Um, wait. Did you know that, like, chili and cinnamon rolls, I believe that's a Midwest oh, thing. Oh, yeah. I actually had this conversation with someone a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Because at school lunch, I always, with our chili, yeah. we got a big old cinnamon roll. Yeah. And my dad was like, no, we never had that. Oh, where is he from? He's from, like, northern Missouri, like, right around Maryville. No kidding? Yeah. And he didn't hear about that? No. But they're small, like, what is it? he's from Hopkins, if anyone knows oh, Hopkins, yeah. Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I went to a tiny-ass school, but we were on the chili cinnamon roll combo. Yeah. Because you're from, like, southern Iowa, right? Southeastern Iowa, yeah. Yeah, okay, right so other side. Keswick, represent. <laughs> There's, like, 200 people there. Yeah. Wait, my whole family lived in Keswick. Like, my grandma mm-hmm. was on the north side of town. And then my aunt and uncle, our house, a few houses down was my other aunt and uncle. I mean, it was just a little community. Growing up there was so much fun. we just ride our bikes. We just own. We just owned that town. Uh-huh. Going on well. Like my, my mom would power walk with my aunts. <laughs> yeah. We'd ride the bikes ahead of time. I don't know. I loved it. I loved growing up in a small town. Yeah, I always like going back down to where my dad grew up and stuff. I just think it's so much fun, especially yeah. Maryville. I love Maryville. Yeah, love just sitting there all day watching some football. That's watching, my jam. Watching the horse and buggies walk by. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they don't drive horse There's and John. <laughs> Hey, John. <laughs> and then the two-finger wave. I'm oh, all about that. Oh, I seriously still do that. If I think I'm gonna about to recognize a car that I'm meeting, yeah. like, <laughs> I just love it. Well, so I drive our Jeep sometimes in the summer, and I don't know if I'm spilling a secret, but the Jeep Wranglers, right. they always wave at each other, like, as they pass each other. So I all summer, I'm, like, two-finger waving it. You, got, you have to. Uh-huh. It's like the Harley Davidson, like, what do they do? Oh, the, or the, like this or the? I not, didn't not know that. they did that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. they just like <laughs> and they go <laughs> or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I might have made that up a little bit. I might have made that up. I bet there's some truth to it. 
Oh man. Okay. So what did you, what did you study when you were at college? I initially went, I wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to be Aaron Andrews on college game day on Saturday mornings. That's what I wanted to do. Went to Iowa. I was on the paper there and total culture shock. I was like, I don't write like this. It's like, no, Shelby, we just want to know who won the cross country meet. Like we don't need to know this backstory of the athlete that won it. So reality check realized it really wasn't for me. Um, and when I transferred to Iowa state, I got, they had an advertising, um, department in their communication school. So I'm like, that's kind of me. I'm, I like to be creative. I like to make videos and photography and all that. So yeah, I just kind of got into advertising there. Um, the more creative side, not like the numbers side. <laughs> it's a totally different world. <laughs> what do you mean the numbers side? There was like, you could kind of set your path to either be more like creative, like you're going to think of the project or like the numbers of keeping a project in budget kind of thing. Great, great. Both, yeah. of, the, both of which we're asking you to do here. So I'm really glad you don't like that part. I'm just I kidding. can figure it out. Yeah. We, have another meeting with do. Lori. But there you go. There you go. Um, but no, yeah, I did graduate with advertising and then I got a minor in event management and just I got my internship my sophomore year there and just kind of snowballed. She needed someone to film some video content for her for a program she was putting out and I just kept making content for her and it escalated into blogs and social and Facebook posts and all that. So Awesome. Yeah. Well, you can still be Aaron Andrews, you know. I can be Aaron Andrews. You can be. On this platform, I can do anything. You really, truly <laughs> can. Is she one of, like, your role models then? And who who were your role models growing oh, up? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Aaron Andrews. Yeah. And I loved, um, I just loved all the, she had fun with it, and she was so cool. And I love the personal touch of her stories and her pieces, mm -hmm. too. I think that's fun. And mm -hmm. she can add a little bit of her spunk in it so yeah I always love that she I think was a great role model to and I don't know when she kind of came on scene I do think it was just an important time because it was just all men it's still a, a ton of men yeah, yeah and that's great because I think they know what they're talking about but then she comes in and she proved like and she's you know she's gorgeous oh yeah but she proved like yes girls uh, can talk football yes too. girls can talk football we can get down here we can do these interviews and people, you can make people respect you. So mm -hmm. she's, a, she's badass. Yeah. She's cool. Yeah. I really enjoyed watching her on Saturday mornings. Yes. 8 a.m. I know. <laughs> I mean, I am a little annoyed because she's not on Dancing with the Stars anymore. <laughs> she was so good on Dancing with what the Stars. What happened there? I don't know. Her and Tom like both left. I and know. then I love Tyra, but Tyra yeah. came in. I don't love Tyra. I'm yeah? just going to say it. I don't know. She's, um, I America's loved. America's Next Top Model? I loved America's yeah. Next Top Model. Yeah. But, I mean. <laughs> but. She was, uh, like, hardcore. Yeah. She was intense. So she's kind of turned a corner. I, I'm not all about the cancel culture. I'm really not. Unless you've done something you, that you truly to be, deserve to be canceled for. But, I mean, do you ever look back and watch some of those episodes of America? She's like, I'm like. Yeah. It gets. Yeah. Total different culture too back. Like I was even watching a show back around the same time, and I was like, I can't believe they got away with talking about that. I watched what movie did I watch recently where I was like, oh, it gave me <laughs> like second hand. Like when you have cheese. <laughs> yeah, and it was like <laughs> that's the sound my stomach makes. If you guys wanted to know, uh, it was the movie um, Waiting. Have you ever seen Waiting mm -mm. with Ryan Reynolds no. and like Anna Faris and oh my <laughs> goodness. Is it scary? No. Oh. It's okay. about, <laughs> it's basically like um, an Applebee's. Okay. And it's like uh, just the goings on and personalities of the type of people that would work in an Applebee's in like the early 2000s. Oh. So like the relationships and what happens back in the kitchen mm -hmm. and what happens back in the kitchen when a customer is rude and sends the food back. And it's just like, Oh my God. <laughs> and just the conversations they were having. I was like, no, yeah, no, that <laughs> could not happen today. No, you couldn't make that stuff today. Could not happen today. <laughs> That's really interesting too. Just in like, as we, I met with a client, um, a prospect of client yesterday 
and just he had worked with some other companies and they had pitched him this idea for his company and he's like I told them no and I was like well thank god you did tell him no because <laughs> I mean this was this was bad it was like in relation to I'm not even going to get there. I'm not even going to go there because <laughs> I don't want us to get canceled. But isn't it, it's just crazy. We have to be careful. Mm -hmm, and that's too. our responsibility as marketers for all these brands. Like we have to be totally very careful. And that's why I think continuing to educate ourselves, just the media gets a lot of shit, but it's good that it exists because we're being made aware of these things that I don't think that we'd normally be made aware of. Totally. And I think, yeah, as much as we do have to be careful, I think it is a good thing to just... People, I mean, there's so many different types of people. Oh, that definitely. You could come across and you just, you never know how your words or what you put out there could affect them. And no, you just want to be careful. I know. Um, <laughs> especially me. I like to make a lot of jokes and I'm like, <laughs> I don't even, yeah. I don't think any of my jokes are offensive necessarily, but they, they probably used to be, let's yeah. just be honest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, right? And not even on purpose or, it's yeah, not. like. It's not. It's like, an awareness piece for yeah. sure. Like, oh, that's probably wasn't good to say back yeah. then. Yeah. I just need to throw away all my social media accounts. and <laughs> Not your new off. reels, though. I like those. My reels? Yeah. Well. I'm going to have you do a voiceover one. Which one? <sighs> I don't know. I'll have to decipher through my saved reels on my phone and see what one best fits you. Oh, my God. Have you seen the one? This is just we're getting to so good off topic here. Um, it's like, it's people do it, and it's the influencer one where they're like, oh, I'm just following. Yeah. <laughs> my husband and I, all day we're like, thank you. It's Vivian Westwood. <laughs> have you seen that one? Yeah. I freaking die every time that one comes on. Oh, you're so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking that. about? Oh, my gosh. Do your impersonation of that one little kid you like that has the southern accent. Oh, my God. Hey, y'all. My, my boy, Josh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll have you do that. Oh, shit. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's me, my boy, Josh. Your boy, Josh, here. <laughs> He's so cute. Hey, hey, yo, yo. It's me. <laughs> hey, yo, yo. It's, it's your boy, Josh. Joshy. Joshy. He's so cute. Yeah. Here, let's just look him up really quick. Maybe I'll have you do that, but we'll, like, put your name in it instead. Yeah. Your boy, <laughs> your boy Josh 55. Your boy. <laughs> See if we can play it. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, your boy Josh here. Hey, boy Josh. Hi, yo. What's up, guys? It's your boy Josh here. God, what a sweetie pie. That's cute. Who do you think is doing, like, uh, I think it's been interesting to watch celebrities, especially over the pandemic. They've just been stuck at home, and these people who love attention so much, they can't be on TV shows and movies, and they a lot of them have kind of taken off. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, shoot, on my phone. There's one celebrity. Gosh, who's she married to? I think she's just done the best job. She took, like, the whole stay-at-home mom thing and blonde, short hair. Kristen Cavallari. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think it's the one married to Ashton Kutcher. Wait. That's Mila that? Kunis. No, retraction. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> You can't just say something and say retraction after it and expect it to go away, Shelby. We just talked about this. You're going to be canceled. So I actually have a retraction um, note in my phone. So with, like, the people we hang out with, because I say the wrong thing a lot. Like, <laughs> I'll say something like, nope, that wasn't right retraction. <laughs> I'd like to go back. <laughs> yeah. That's from Modern Family. Did you ever watch Is Modern it really? Yeah. Phil would say something, and he then he'd just say, like, I'd like to go back. Because <laughs> he pissed them right That's me. Oh, And man. so, like, we always tally, like, how many times people, like, said retraction for that night or for that weekend we're together. And so I always funny. win. I say it, like, all the time. So funny. <laughs> Okay, thank you, your celebrity. You can't remember. Oh, yeah. Kristen. Oh, she, the Dax guy, he was in Parenthood. Yes. Kristen Bell? Yeah. She, I think it's her. Or yeah. Reese, I don't know. Okay. I'm not good at celebrities. Why? I don't know. It's never something I've like. I hate how much I know about really? celebrities. I hate it. Oh, I need to introduce you to my friend, Allison. Yeah. She knows everything about celebrities. I do too, and I hate it. I hate that about <laughs> myself. I do. Like, I follow this not skinny but not fat 
Do you yeah, follow her? Amanda no, Hirsch. I've heard of her though. That's what her that's what she does. And she's very good at it. And she knows and you know, like Instagram stories, they just up top like like t- Yeah, yeah. I get so excited when there's so many yeah. for me to watch and I just watch her and that's where I get all of my information. Yeah. And um it's I wish that I, I, I should be spending that time doing <laughs> literally anything else, but it's not. No. I am. I found myself doing that this morning. I was like, oh, I'll just check this really quick. And then I like check it and I check something else and I watch this and I'm like, okay, there went 10 minutes of my yeah. morning. Or I'll, late. <laughs> I'll get on there to do something complete. Like I'll get on there to go search for someone and then something distracts me. And then uh-huh. half an hour later, I'm like, oh my gosh. I never found out if Dale and Claire from The Bachelor broke up, which I think they did. Really? Yeah. They were just on my popular feed this morning. They were? Together? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. If did you read the pro- caption? I didn't even click on it. I think they're broken up. Dang. I know. I really thought that one was going to last forever when she Press forced dramatic. him into leaving the show on Mary. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop. Again, here I go. I know. See, look, the, there's a, the, the light. Like, yeah. there's a light in my eyes. So Talking do you like this. to watch Bachelor in Paradise? I do, but I, f- I didn't watch last night. I didn't watch last night either. Sam, did you watch last night? Bachelor in Paradise? Yeah. Ugh. The episodes are too long, too. Like, I don't need a ABC. I don't need to spend two hours, like, no watching. Three hours? Well, they have to get rid of, I mean, there were so many people left, and there was only two days, two episodes left. Even the thing last week with, like, the whole rainstorm that one too god they were building up this rainstorm and we're oh. on an island it, it's gonna freaking rain <laughs> they all evacuated and then they went to commercial and then they came back they're like oh yeah now we're back at the beach and i'm like okay i'm glad that was a half hour segment <laughs> i was there for demi and demi's gone now isn't she so yeah she kind of got screwed yeah she's she's, she's a mess but she's a mess I call I myself like a hot mess. I am. I'm a hot mess. I mean, I think people think mom should have it all together. I simply don't. No. <laughs> I, I simply Listen. do not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I Yesterday, I walked around all day with a pacifier in my pocket because my almost two-year-old still likes it, and I, like, ripped it from him, and he was pretty pissed. So I just kept it in my pocket all day. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. See, you have it all together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's this hair man it's this hair it's a new persona mm-hmm. well what are you what are you looking forward to the most Shelby as just joining this team and, and being a part of the bing bang clan I'm yeah the team really excites me even just like the first couple of days I was like yeah these people are funny and like I the energies in here is just so fun to be a part of and even today, we were watching Sam and I like an alligator video. You got, uh, we were, you're getting paid for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's great. But it's just like stuff like that because I've been working at home for like five years, ever since college, you know, and it's fun to be with people and actually interact. Oh, wow. And I, yeah. I, when you put it that way, working from home, like from college. Yeah. That's a lot of time just to yourself. Yeah. Like m- people would get annoyed. Like, why are you constantly asking me to do something? I'm like, I've been un- stuck in my chair for eight hours. Yeah. Let's go <laughs> do anything. Let's go TP a house. Let's yeah. go light something on fire. I don't care. Anything. I'll do anything. <laughs> Let's go get a gator. <laughs> Let's go get a gator. What was happening in the gator video? The gator was at this guy's house and he grabbed his trash can <laughs> and he was able to capture it in the trash can. It was one of those things like, how did you, how were you able to accomplish that? And also, why would you want to? I don't know. No. Maybe they were bored too. They were been working inside. True, all day. true. <laughs> it's a pandemic. We're yeah. bored. We just want to capture this one alligator and say we did. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, Shelby, thank you for taking the chance. With this company, we are so excited to have you here. I'm so excited. We're gonna too. kick ass together, and I just can't wait to We're see. Have a good time doing it. We are. We really are. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I can't is. wait to see what we create, and it's gonna be off the chain. We're gonna make a reel about it. We are going to absolutely make a reel about it. Mm-hmm. Off the chain. I love that. That's coming back, huh? Sure. Coming back with that Y2K fashion. <laughs> I won't be in that. You wearing your gauchos? Nope. Oh my gosh, I need to gauchos. wear those someday. You should. I have a pair, kind of. 
Yeah. Look for it on the socials, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, and we will catch you next time. Bye. Bye.